Ladies and gentlemen, how exciting is this? We are back and we are traveling the country to find out what's cooking. My name is Jochen Kutsia and thank you so much for tuning in, coming and taking your seat at the table for the second season of Namibia's favorite cooking show. Boom! We are now we want to bam bam. We're with the big boy, Mr. Toy Van Jabella, editor and chief of Nubian Sun. How are you, sir? Yeah, my man. How, how is everything, man? We, we are chilled, we are excited. Everything is uh, running smoothly. We're next to the river. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't get better than that, my it man. It doesn't get better. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Only, only on a Friday, Saturday night when you have some sport on the TV, family, the fire's going and the family's happy. You know, on a day like that, what are you preparing for your family? Yeah, so what we have here, Yohi, is um, we have uh, some chicken wings, uh, just uh, cooked with uh, chicken spice. We're keeping it simple uh, with a bit of, uh, we have a, a secret sauce that we eh? we put here. We're not going to say how, what sauce it is. It's, it's, it's very special. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we had two types of wings. Uh, the other one was um, with a bit, of, a bit of green and uh, it turned out completely what? just within uh, it was it was crazy Sold out. tasty I, I tell you that yeah then we have um, uh, a meat party here also very tasty uh, it's what you want to do for your family on a, on a day like this perfectly seasoned and it's a big bite uh, you guys don't play oh, I tell you my, my man it's 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 the best you would have uh, eaten all of this year so far okay yeah so and then we have uh, this is the one that that excites me the most excites me the most yeah. and that is the on my over Omayova is, uh, is, is mushroom, but a traditional one. Uh, so it's very, very natural. So what we did with it then is to was to dunk it into eggs uh, and, um, uh, and 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 flour and flour and and then of course with butter now here, just natural butter where we are now sort of cooking it in. Yeah. Uh, exciting stuff. Very nice. Now, but, but why didn't you guys also pick up some frogs? Because I saw uh, the, the vendors had some nice, had some nice fat frogs <laughs> along the route also. So I'm very disappointed that you guys don't have some, uh, you know, frog wings for us. But next time. Next time. No, yeah. frogs are a uh, huge delicacy. I Absolutely. think a lot of people don't know what they are missing as far as frogs are concerned. I know. Me, I get down. Me, I, me I'm in. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. So, Mr. T, yeah. Nubian Sun powerful brand you know uh, uh, a, a conversation a thought leader yes. you know yes. you guys you guys don't shy away from from the difficult subjects and you guys also really bring to the fore all those positive uh, stories um, in our society yeah. can you tell us you know uh, since since taking over the movie and Sun what is your approach been and how have, how have you how have you and the team developed upon it yeah so I mean look what we do at Namibia and Sun is always to broaden the scope um, of stories, um, be a bit analytical, uh, give people different angles that are not ordinarily seen. Um, so th that that has been our strongest point uh, so far, and we, we were on a very exciting upward um, traje trajectory until the uh, advent of COVID-19. So we are now in a position where we are trying to recover that that mojo, um, that exciting uh, upward trend. Yeah. Um, so the, the sun will continue to shine and we want it to shine even brighter in 2022. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And also there's been a major, a major push to, um, for, 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 uh, on a digital space. I mean, you know, uh, you, you have started pro programs that have, you know, taken uh, stories that are sometimes constrained with the real estate of print. Yeah. And you have blown it up. And I mean, I think, you know, you're an you're a interviewer or a moderator par excellence because you know you, you you pull no punches but um you somehow get to the core of the story yeah and you know i, I mean it, it sometimes it's 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 touchy subjects yeah tell us about tell us about some of these programs and um you know what what inspired them and where you're taking them yeah so i think we we started when i started in Namibian sun the first thing i was told to do was to create um a show that really speaks to the people yep. to expand on the narratives to expand uh, on the news of the day and uh, that's when we came up with an, um, the evening review mm. it's doing uh, uh, wonders um, last year uh, we came up with the agenda which I moderate myself on a weekly basis uh, to expand on the narratives where we actually invite um, 
not knowledgeable, you know, the, the, the thought leaders yes. to come around and really digest for our broad audience on about, about, on about key, key issues. Yes. And, and also thought leaders on opposite ends of the spectrum. So, so, so you know, it, it becomes a, a very, you know, a, a, um, an incredibly insight, insightful uh, um, program. That is, a, that is the aim. The aim is, is to be as insightful as possible, uh, to give people a sense that, um, you know, news is news. But news analysis is something else, and that is what we've been doing, really. So there are people saying, oh, wow, I didn't understand it that way. I saw the headline in the paper. I, I read uh, the, whole, the whole story, but I didn't understand it. But this guest really, really expanded and digested it for us properly. And that is what we aim to do, uh, to inform and empower our communities. Absolutely, absolutely. And now, so how are we going to uh, build upon that? Because, you know, you're, you're, engaging, you're engaging more and more um, of the... Not really of the of the I think intellectual intellectual uh, ac the academic sphere, but also you know the people on the ground. You're speaking to bread and butter issues, and uh, I think your editorials are some of us. Uh, you're a, you're a brave man. Let me just put it like that. You 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 speak truth to power, yeah. and it's very very inspiring. Um, what's the plan for the future? Yeah, so the plan for the future is to continue telling it. Uh, as there is, uh, I know there's a, another newspaper that has something along those lines as, yep. as their slogan, but for us it's really to continue doing what we are doing, uh, being brave, being uh, able to speak truth to power, because, you, you know, we are only doing it for one, for one purpose, and that is to, um, to make sure that Namibians are, are informed. When you go into elections, when you are um, making life decisions, you're making decisions uh, that are informed yeah. and not just because you know you saw things and, and you have no broader understanding so we'll continue to do that we'll continue to grow the brand we'll, we'll continue to engage on our online platforms our our shows um, and we'll continue to grow also the audiences of the respective platforms because we think that uh, i think people love what we do uh, and we, we thank them greatly for being such a, um, for carrying us on their shoulders for the, for this, and the only thing that we can do then to repay them uh, for their faith is to continue giving them the best what they what what, what they crave for uh, as far as our work is concerned. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mr. Njabela, really, we thank you and uh, we take our hats off to you and the team, and please continue to do what you do. Um, you're reaching more and more people, and um, I think you know this the, the narratives that you are exploring and uh, helping people to digest is of paramount importance so we th so we take our hat off to you guys and uh, yeah all the best yeah we appreciate your yeah. time and uh, and the platform yes Thanks. but but now before we sign out yeah. we need to do the you know the uh, agenda that come move you do at the end where that that step in come on come. <laughs> one two three <laughs> Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neopaints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neopaints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Okay, now I have the pleasure to be with Mr. Llewellyn Creer, um, Operations Manager for NMH, to be with us. Excuse me, I'm going to talk to you, Mr. Llewellyn. Mr. Llewellyn. Jochie, as you are easy with the Afrikaans and English so mixed, then I can't tell you what you are saying. Yeah, but I mean, as you look at this, can look, mix you too. I mean, these boorish Italians that you make, a pizza on a bread. Ja, ons, ons mense, ons kultuurkie so, be, vandag bykie, ons kon nou nie skaapjopies hier ingesit het, so nou het ons een pizzaikie, maar hy lyk lekker. Hy lyk lekker, hy lyk yeah. lekker, ja. Nee, ons, ons het een paar uh, krok krokodille gesien hier in die Elkewango, miskien moet ons hier nou plat trek en uh, kyk hoe smak hy. Jochie, vir die plat honne is ek verzichtig, <laughs> ek, ek gaan hulle nie haal. <laughs> so meneer, um, behalwe um, die professionele werk, hy is een passievolle boer. Um, wat, 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 
wat, wat, wat kweek hy liefde vir die plaaslewe uh, en uh, as meneer plaas toe gaan en uh, sam, sam met die familie en sam met die, sam met die, die um, werknemers of die, die, die breie plaasfamilie uh, een vleesie kan deel, wat staan uit vir meneer? Man Jochie, wie jy eerstens oor die boerderij, ek het daarmee groot geword, so dit is vir my lekker. Um, ek dink as mens sien hoe dieren anteel die kleinkies wat daar rond haar top, ek dink dit is iets mooi om te sien. En dan natuurlijk as ons daar op die plaas kom, kan ons lekker vier maak. Hmm. Ons is nie chakel kies nie, ons maak vier. Lekker harde. En, uh, ja, en dan kan ons een lekker choppie braai en ons kan een lekker woorse. En dan natuurlijk een braai broeikie. Ja, absoluut. Hy moet daar wees. Hy moet daar wees. Ja. Dit is wat ek sê. Like, ek, meneer, Ek sal vlees ruil vir een braaibroekie, ek weet nie, dit is vir my man net iets anders. Nee, een braaibroekie is ek stout oor. <laughs> Hy moet daar wees. Absoluut. So, meneer, um, u is in beheer van baie van uh, NMH's oper- operationele um, activiteiten. Ek meen, van die IT tot uh, die finansies en baie, baie van die werkelijke net die gritties van wat ons, wat ons um, nie probeer doen nie, wat ons so goed doen. Um, vertel ons bykie oor die maatskapie en hoe dit werk, want ek meen daar so veel um, dele wat moet, wat moet perfect saamwerk om elke dag een korant en so baie media uit te kry. Ja Jochie, ek, ek denk is belangrijk om te weet, um, die, die bezigheid was baie geskoei gewees op geprinte korante, die hele kant met nieuwsprint en aan die republikein en al die, al die korante wat ons het. Um, en, en soos die samenleving verander het sien ons, allemaal is op selfone, alles raak meer digital, alles is meer social media, die jonger geslag is meer op hulle foone. So dit het obviously het dit een inpak op die media gehad en, en ons moet daarmee saam beweeg. So by ons is daar nou een groot klem verskuiving om, om te sê hoe skakel ons met die sociale media en die video's en goed wat ons maak, um, wat is op al ons platforms en goed hersheer. Um, en, en hoe ons alles met mekaar deel. Uh-huh. Jochie, j- jy, mag, jy mag nie kyk daar nie. En, en jy raak jy ander manse braai aan, en skies, ja, skies, jammer, jammer. So, da, ons moet daarmee saamskyf, en ons, ons focus baie daarop, en ek dink ons is baie succesvol daarmee, um, hoe ons op hierdie goed, en ook die personeel, hoe hulle saam met hierdie goeders, die omwendeling saam met ons gaan, en ek dink dis baie belangrik, as die mens het ook haar kopverskyving gemaakt, en hulle skyf saam met ons. So, ja, dis nie wat wereld vir ons, al hierdie goedkies, maar ons gaan daarmee. Absoluut, absoluut. En ek meen, um, daar is koste verbonde om hierdie skuif te doen, maar um, sien, sien ons uh, uh, return on investment en, en, en um, sien, ons, sien ons dat um, die mark uh, reageer, want ek meen, ons het ook nou, ont, uh, I mean, ons doen nou meer logistics, ons doen ons eie logistics, ons, ons, ons brei uit, ons het nou een televisiekanaal. Um, al, al hierdie goede, daar so baie, baie moving parts, hoe beheer die uh, die Exco en die, en die bestuur van NMH, al hierdie nitty gritties. Man, Jochie, ek denk, is belangrijk, jy, jy kan nou tydelik nie, jy sien net een oorbeers en gaan koop wat jy lus het nie, so, hou moet komponente gaan koop wat op jy die vinnigste sien waarop jy return op jy investment krij, en dan, en daar bele, ons is in een redelike investment fase van, van die bezigheid, met al hierdie die verspreiding, die nieuwe social media, alle studios, alle camera's en goed. So, hy moet maar selectief wees en jy moet maar besluit wat jy kan eerste kom en dan moet jy so, elkeen word maar per merite, elkeen geëvalueer. Absoluut, absoluut. Meneer, <laughs> baie dankie vir die tijd en uh, ek, ek sal terugkom bykie om jylle sy boere Italiaanse uh, pizza te kom proef. Ok, kom ek wees vir jou, vir oulaas. Ja. Sjo! Nee, kom kijk hoe smel die kaas. Ja, kijk lekker, smel. lekker, Woe! lekker, lekker, lekker. Skaapchoppie sal nog so, so vir my beter gepast het. Of een braaibroekie. Of ons, ja, ons moet een braaibroekie, skaapchoppie, pizza, ontwerp. Ok, ons gaan, ons gaan een truit maak daar op registreer. Yeah. Nee, is dit recht. Absoluut. Baie dankie meneer. Ok, jy okay. Goed gaan. Mr. Witboy, how you doing, sir? I'm fine yourself, Mr. Yogi. Yeah, I'm really good, my man. Well, it's long the rivier, the cool is on the brand. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Now, Rudy, um, 
Jullie zijn nieuwsprint. Jullie spelen een grote rol in de Namibische media. Ik bedoel, niet alleen zijn jullie printing animatieën in de nieuwspapers, jullie zijn printing third-party products en inserts, magazines, al die producten. Ook de educationele boeklets. Vertel ons, verstaan jullie eindelijk hoe belangrijk is jullie voor die gemeenschappelijke kennis? Ja, ja, Jochie, dus waarom ons hierdie project ook aangevaard het van die educational booklets? Omdat ons voel die land doen nie genoeg om education van al op die grondvlak in die lower primary ontwikkeling. Dus waarom ons een boek gecreëerd het vir die hele land. So in hierdie land met die educational boek bereik ons jakem week 350.000 kinders om Amal op die selfde vlak, amal die selfde materiaal so. Ons sal die results oor 10 jaar eerst ook gesien, maar dit is ons wat ons doen vir die gemeenskap. En ons voel ook die rest van die land moet ook hand in eie boesem steek en help vir die gemeenskap. Absoluut. En wat vir my ongelooflik is, is, you know, you guys do it at such a scale and quality that you can actually reach an economics of scale. I mean, hierdie boek is, imagine giving a child a, um, a syllabus-based um, booklet for like $2.50 to them. That's including transport, thanks to our distribution network. Yes. This is ongelooflik. And I mean, um, what's the trots that you have I mean, you have work day and night om yeah, dit yeah. to bereik. Elke dag, day and night. Ja, Jochie. Ja, dit is, soos ek sê, en ons, ons um, bereik ook elke deel van hierdie land, elke dag. En dis waarom ons elke dag te, kan die kind uh, die boeklis gee. En ons netwerk is so, so goed, ne? Ons kan vandag print, morgen ochend en tien uur het elke kind in die land te boek in sy hand. I, I ja, think that's cool. I think, ja, ja. I think that's that really is, cool. En het maak my so trots ja. dat, uh, dat you know, ons, ons samuele manne uh, vleesie kan deel. En uh, rarig, kudos to you and the team. You guys are doing an amazing job. Elke dag het jylle vir ons kurante met vermaak, nies, eh, sport nies, wat ek weet, ja, baie ja. na in jou hart le. So, baie dankie Rudy. En uh, ja, sien jylle uit, wat, wat braai jylle, wat, wat braai jylle vir die dag? Oké, okay, ons is so bykie in die competitie. Ons het um, lekker wings wat ons al maak en dan een uh, Mexican burger. Uh, en een lekker nagerechtje ook, en ons hoop ons wen. Ja? Ja, 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 want ek is wat sy over de hoofd van wen. Ja, nee. Op die veld en van die veld af. Ja, op die veld en van die veld af en so aan. Jy is maar altyd competitive, wat ook al jy doen. En dis, denk ek, wat Nieuwsprint eindelik onderscheid van die rest van die drukkerij. Dat is ongelooflik goed. Ja, ja. En ja, ons wens vir jy al die beste toe. Baie dankie, meneer Jorgen. Ja, nee, en ek kom kree jou wen. Dis hy. Oké, kwaai man. Dankie. Awesome. So now education is a major component uh, to NMH's operations. You know, we, we, our whole purpose is to educate, entertain, and inform. And Shani Bota right here, she's the coordinator of our education project, which has made massive strides, especially in COVID, where, um, you know, in-contact education really came under, under pressure. Shani, how are you today? I'm very well in yourself. I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good, it's lekker ons hier in die vier, die gansies loop hier rond, it's wel een lekker, it's lekker. So, Shani, the education project, and um, is it the African Devel Child Development Trust? Yes. yes. What is the education project, what is the African, de develop, uh, African Child Development Trust, and what necessitated its creation? So, first of all, African Child Development Trust, we established that recently. It's a trust where we want to run various um, educational projects, developmental projects um, to benefit the African child. So, our first project that we will be 
um, doing under African Child Development Trust is the education project, which, which we have been doing for the past two years. Like you said, it was inspired during COVID when um, when the schools were closed and the children didn't have any education. And we worked with the Ministry of Education and um, Namibia Media Holdings to um, get physical booklets to the children in their hands, um, approved by our ministry, approved by NIET in the language. We are catering to 12 languages um, and also shooting this online so that they have online school and then distributing it across the country weekly. Yeah. yeah. But tell us, you know, I, that, that is in a, um, an in, incredible impact. And, you know, really, I, I, I really feel honored to be part of an organization that um, took that commitment at, at great cost. And, you know, uh, also uh, there was a lot of resources and a lot of energy that went into making this uh, possible. But tell us why NMH's operational, um, I think, scope makes this project so efficient and so um, easy to augment and to update and you know just to reach all the children across the country yeah. so we're very privileged to work with namibia media holdings and new sprint and um namibia distribution hub because um they already daily deliver newspapers to every corner of the country um, and they have the the production team that we need to create these booklets and also the printing press where we can print these books in high volume at a very very low cost so we basically as the newspapers get printed we print our books and as the newspapers get sent out to the country our books get sent out to the country so um, we're working hand in hand with them and we're very um, privileged like I said to work with them and very thankful um, and then thereby we can deliver cost effective in a cost effective manner to children all over the country how cost effective um at the moment we are working on two dollars fifty per child per week two dollars fifty per child per week for very very uh, contemporary relevant and approved educational booklets very very highly visual booklets delivered to every part of the country Every week, 350,000 copies about a week, roughly. More or less, yeah, 345. Yes, so every week, 345,000 books get sent out. Up until um, last year, December, we have delivered over 12 million books in two years to children across Namibia. So we're very proud of that. As an educationalist, you know, like you said, you're very proud of it, but as an educationalist, how do you think this will impact, um, you know, children, you know, going forward in this country? Yeah, so I, uh, I, I'm very passionate about children and about child development and also about education in our country. Um, and I really believe that this project is setting a tone for, for or setting a foundation for children in Namibia because intervening now because we work with children from grade zero to grade three and it's a very um, important age where children need to be stimulated receive quality education and especially receive education in their language in their home language so um so yeah so i really believe that we're setting a foundation for the children and investing in their futures because we might not see the true impact now it's it, it's it's what's going to happen in those children's lives in the future when they go to um, high school when they go to university when they start a career you'll see the impact of this project that is just phenomenal and it makes me so proud to be you know just a, a part of this a part of this company because i mean wow how how wow uh, what 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 are some of your favorite you know memories um, uh, cooking or sharing food with the family? Because you guys are very family oriented, aren't you? Yes, we're very family oriented, and it's hard to pick one. Um, but yeah, some of my favorite times is together with family. Um, I like a broy. Sal nooit sê vir nie sê vir dit nie. En dan oma's spaghetti bolognese is die beste ding ooit. En enige mama kos, enige tyd. Dis net die beste, ja. Awesome, awesome. Shanae, thank you so much for taking the time and also for you and the team for your commitment to the Namibian child. Really, I think it's an investment into the country and it just shows so much commitment and it's profound. I mean... $2.50, 300,000 children. There are children across the country that do not have access to educational material. They're getting it for free in a newspaper. 
So if you're out there and you'd like to support this initiative, uh, whether you're individual, business or a large institution, please get in contact. We really need the support because we want to take this thing and you know, just make it, uh, give it a lasting impact. Shane, any last messages? Um, yes, just thank you for everyone's support with this project. We're really grateful for, um, for the feedback we do receive. So thank you. Please keep on doing that. And yo, thank you, Yochi, for this. Boom. <laughs> for the kids. For the kids. For the kids? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. Uh, go. Go, Michelle. Go, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's, uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much, Michelle.